Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me today. Uh, my name is Rulu Tuil and I'm going to present for you a uh, let's test with Kernel CI. To start, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, myself. Well, my name is Rulu, I'm a software engineer. Uh, I'm based in the south of France and I am a Kernel CI contributor. Well, I work uh, for a company named Paylibre. Uh, we are uh, uh, an embedded Linux consultancy company uh, and we do a lot of open source projects. We are top 20 Linux kernel contributor. We keep contribute to Uboot, Yocto, Zephyr, and we do a lot of uh, automated uh, testing. Okay, so to start, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the kernel CI project. Well, it's a free service for testing Linux on a huge variety of uh, hardware platforms. It's an open source project and a collaboration hub for hardware focused open source testing and automation. Well, the purpose um, of this project is to gather uh, all um, together in, um, in to, to, to test the Linux kernel to get a better uh, quality of uh, the software. These are the founding members of uh, the Kernel CI project. Okay, to begin, in here we have uh, it could be a kernel developer or a kernel maintainer or uh, just a simple user with several thoughts in my in the mind. It could be. I don't have the same test platform as kernel CI. Is it even possible to join the project? I really want to use kernel CI, but I don't know how they test. Also, I use the same platform as you. Can I join your project? And uh, different other thoughts. So to start, uh, I, will, uh, I will do a quick recap about the kernel CI modular pipeline. Uh, in here we have the source from uh, we are going to fetch uh, the code uh, so we have a new patch to come and we want to test this patch so from there we are going to start a build uh, with the uh, configs uh, that you want to do and then we will pass to the run section where well, we uh, do the testing part and creating the uh, the test plan definitions. After finishing uh, the tests, we will submit the results to be stored in the database and then analyzed. And finally, uh, we will have to report uh, the results either via emails or dashboard. So uh, this is from a talk I made it back in um, 2020 uh, ELC uh, with my uh, colleague Kevin Hillman. Um, in the link, of, uh, in the link, uh, you can find uh, this presentation along with the video. So today, uh, the talk will be focusing on the RAS section how we do the testing, how we do submitting the test, and how uh, we, uh, we uh, see the results. So let's test with kernel CI. Okay, so let's test with kernel CI. Uh, we have three major points. The first one will be how to prepare the test suit or case, uh, including creating the test plan or customizing the rootfs image in the run, or even adding a new rootfs image uh, to be uh, used. After finishing with creating our test uh, suit or case, we will be running uh, the, the test being created and then submitting test results. Well, for uh, submitting test results, we have two different um, tabs first one for Lava users and the second one uh, for non-Lava um, users. So it's never too late to join the project and you are welcome every time. Okay, 
So start by uh, preparing the test uh, the, the test suit uh, or case. Well, kernel CI provides for you uh, pre-built uh, rootface images. Um, you you can check uh, the list by um, using the KCI rootface tool. Exactly doing KCI rootface uh, list variants and. Um, as you can see in here, uh, the different rootface uh, images that we do provide. So, uh, the default is a rootface image uh, based on Debian uh, Buster, and we do provide several uh, support, several architectures, including, for example, ARM64, MIPS, RISC V. So, to create these rootface images, we are using uh, DebOS. Uh, which will um, use the bootstrap for creating these images. In here, you can find the Debus project, and this is the link for this project. Okay, so before to get uh, actually started, uh, you have firstly to clone uh, the kernel CI core repo. So this is the link for it. Well, when you are going to uh, clone, clone the, this repo, this is what are you going to have. Well, in this talk, uh, we'll be uh, modifying these files and directories. We have here this test config YAML file, rootfs config YAML file, labs config YAML file, and the two directories, templates and Jenkins. As here, uh, there is different tools, but in this talk, we will be using the KCI rootfs tool and the KCI test tool. So in the previous slide, we did use uh, the KCI rootfs list variants to list the existing rootfs images. Okay, now we are starting. So I don't want to get uh, things complicated for you in the beginning. So we'll be uh, starting to test a simple test case, which is echo hello world. First step, you have to create the relevant directory and the templates directory. Uh, in here we are doing a hello world, so we'll, it will be named as hello world. Then the next step, which is the second, will be to create the test plan definition. We have two Jinja files. This is the first one. You have to create your uh, test plan definition in this format. And as we can see, we have here the name, the description. Uh, this is uh, in the Lava uh, style uh, format that could, can be used in the test. In here, you can see this is a Lava test case, which is uh, again a Lava uh, testing format. This is the name of your test case, hello world. And in here you are, uh, you are running your test case, echo hello world. The second uh, file, it will be, it will include the first file, which is hello world changer two, and it will extend uh, another from another file, which is under boot generic u boot ftp ram disk boot template changer to file. To know more about this, you can uh, go to templates uh, and see uh, the different templates that we have in our project. The third step would be to uh, modify the test config YAML file. We go to the test plan section and we uh, add our new test plan, which name it hello world. And as we are using a pre-built uh, rootfs image, in here you insert the one you want to use, rootfs. This is Debian Buster RAM disk, one of the uh, basics of uh, rootfs images. Then the fourth step which is going to update the test config section in the same file, test config YAML, to add, to use uh, the test plan you added earlier. So assuming that we are going to use a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, as a device um, to run the software and the test plan to be uh, run would be hello world. 
So this is the first point, which was adding a simple test plan definition. And this is would be the second point, which is to customize the root of this image in the run. Okay, so more complicated tests than hello world. You want to keep using a pre-built rootfs image, uh, but you need it uh, to be customized. You can do that in a simple, easy way. First, you have to create a test script. Um, for me, I use bash, but you can use Python, Perl, any uh, any script language you you know. And in here, as we see, we are customizing our rootfs in the test script. So when this will be launched in the run section, you will start by uh, installing uh, these three packages, wget, sox, uh, libsox, um, format, mp3. So this test would be again hello world, but the hello world won't be in the shell, but in an audio file. In here, you are going to create your uh, test directory. You are going to download the audio file that says hello world, then you are going to play it. And this is a test case uh, in um, the Lava test format. So uh, when using a test script, uh, instead of going directly to uh, Jinja2 file, we have to pass through a YAML file that have the run steps and that will uh, call this file, which is the test script, the hello world audio.sh. After creating that, we will be creating again uh, our Jinja2 file uh, uh, test plan definitions, but this time it will be uh, getting it will getting the YAML file from this path templates hello world audio hello world audio dot YAML, and this would be from the repo uh, on GitHub with this exact uh, branch. Again, we will update uh, the test plan section in test configs YAML uh, file. This time we are going to name it hello world audio and we are going to use the same rootfs debian buster ram disk. Again, uh, we will uh, modify the test configs section. We are using the same board uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and in here we are updating with the test plans we are going to run which is hello world audio okay so till now we've seen two points the first one is to add a simple test plan definition and the second one is to uh, customize your root of this image in the run section and doing it in your uh, test script before really testing uh, uh, the things you want to now we pass to adding a new to a new root of this image. Well, we have several uh, tests to do more kind of sophisticated tests. There is a need for a new root of this image. So let's do it. Okay, so I will be keep using the same uh, example um, of uh, hello world audio, but this time instead of Customizing the rootfs image in the run section, we will do it before and we will create a new rootfs image that uh, already have these package, packages installed. So the first step would be to modify the rootfs config YAML uh, to add uh, the rootfs uh, definition in the rootfs config section. So here we are going to be uh, to name it Debian Buster Hello World Audio. You have to precise the rootfs type, which is WS, uh, Debian release buster, the architecture list you will be using, um, example, the ARM64. And in here, uh, we will put, uh, insert the packages, the need packages for uh, the rootfs images, uh, image, uh, which, is, which are wget, sox, libsox, uh, format, mp3. Then we move to the second step, which is to build your rootfs image. So in here, we are going to use the kernel CI2 CAS CI rootfs build using the DevOS project 
uh, for building the root FS image. So these are the tools uh, I mentioned uh, and the files I mentioned in the beginning of the talk when I just uh, cloned my repo kernel CI core. Okay, so the third step would be to um, modify the test config YAML and this time it's going to be the file system uh, section. Here we are adding our new uh, rootfs image. This is the name Debian Buster Hello World Audio, the type it's Debian and the RAM disk. And as for the fourth step, it's going to be the same. You add your test plan in the test plans section in test uh, config YAML, but this time we have the same name of the test plan Hello World Audio, but we are changing the root FS to be used. So this is in here we are inserting the, um, the, the root FS that we had created uh, previously, which is Debian Buster Hello World Audio. And that's it for this point. So until now, you have seen three points. The first one is to add a simple test plan. The second one is to customize your root FS image in the run section. And the, the, the third uh, point, which is to create a whole new root FS image, which is already customized. We move now to add a new, to a new test suite root FS image. Okay. Things getting complicated. Uh, tests are more complicated than just a uh, hello world. Let's build our root FS with our test. Okay. So <laughs> I'm sorry this time I'm run off. I'm run out of uh, simple examples, so uh, I'm gonna need uh, to use one of the kernel CI uh, existing tests. So in here, uh, I'm presenting the IGT test, which is the um, which tests the kernel uh, graphical. So uh, we start as always by adding our uh, new rootfs in rootfs uh, config YAML file the root of his type, the OS, uh, Debian release, Buster. In here, we have the architecture list, the extra packages you want to add to your root of his image. Also, uh, you may want to remove some uh, packages like this in here, or even remove some files. Voila. And then uh, you want to add a config script it would be script poster igt.sh for us and we mention it in here so what what this script uh, does exactly is to add non debian packages tools to uh, to build the test part in the script and this script will be exactly uh, uh, run in the root of its creation time also, you need to add a uh, test overlays. In here, we have overlays IGT. So under Jenkins Debian DevOS overlays IGT user bin, you will adding your uh, IGT parser .sh. So this would be uh, the script to run the test and then to parse the uh, test results in Lava style. Okay, so again, after uh, adding our uh, test to rootfs image, we are going to create the test plan definition. We are using the same as uh, previously. This is the Jinja2 file. And in here, as you can see, you will launch the IGT parser.sh, which has been created already in the rootfs image. Okay, let's move now. So now uh, let's uh, run the test. Well, not yet. Uh, let's generate the test first. Okay, so uh, to generate uh, tests, you have to, to there is a lot of requirements and setups should be done firstly. So uh, you have to set up your lab either physically or using a QMU VMware and also, you should create a user uh, and a lab token. Then you will need to add uh, your lab in the lab config YAML uh, file, which have the lists of uh, labs that you uh, will have. So in here, I'm showing you the example of lab day libre. 
uh, lab, lab type, which is lava. In here, this is the, the URL of the lab. And as you can see in here, the plan, test plans that we are going to be uh, run in this particular, particular lab. So after this, you will need to um, contact the kernel CIM team that would generate for you a lab token that permits you to submit your test uh, results after the test is done. Okay, so uh, this is KCI test tool uh, I mentioned previously. With uh, this tool, we are going to generate our job. It will be used this way, KCI test generate with this different arguments. In here we have the storage from where you are going to, f to, um, to get your build artifacts. These are the bmeta JSON um, and the DBS JSON files, which are uh, two files uh, from the build uh, artifacts. In here you have the lab config, the lab name, the test plan that you are going to be uh, to, to run. In here we have the uh, output where you are going to generate the job YAML file. In here you have to mention uh, your lab user and your lab token. And finally, we are running the test. Well, this time <laughs> for sure we are running and using the Cassier test submit. It's so simple. You have just to mention uh, the lab and the lab user, the lab token. And in here you have to, 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 uh, to answer the lab, uh, the, the job YAML uh, file. Okay, so this was the part where we are uh, running, uh, generating and running uh, tests. And now we will move to how we do submit test results. Well, for Lava users, it's going to be uh, done automatically. Uh, with a uh, lava callback directly to la the kernel CI backend, and then we'll be meeting in kernelci.org, which is a uh, kernel CI uh, front end. So, this is our dashboard. In here, we have uh, the available test results. This is from the different trees, the branches. Uh, in here, we have test plans. Uh, different test plans been uh, um, uh, run in uh, uh, our different labs for kernel CI. And in here, I'm showing you an exact uh, results for baseline tests. And this is all the test cases uh, in the baseline test suite. Well, if you are too lazy to come to us, never. Uh, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. We'll meet you in your email box. We do also provide the service of email reporting. As you can see here, it's the same example of uh, this results, but this is uh, an email that you will uh, get in your uh, mailbox. Still want to join kernel CI and you are not a Lava user? Well, we do provide for you a CACI DB tool Let's know what's that exactly. Well, KCI DB tool, it's a tool for submitting and querying Linux kernel CI reports. And this is the bigger picture. Well, uh, I use this from uh, Guillaume uh, Tucker's talk in the Linux Plumber. Uh, in here you find the link for his talk. He's quite um, explaining uh, the KCI DB tool. So I advise you uh, to check this if you want to know more uh, about the, uh, this tool. So this is the part I've been talking about. We are uh, testing here and then we are sending a callback to the kernel CI backend and it's going to be in the dashboard uh, of kernelci.org. But if you are a non-Lava user, in here, we are working already with Red Hat team, uh, this CKI project, Intel Zero Day, Google Sizeboot. They also are submitting their results to the current CR project through this exact tool, which is KCIDB. This is an example. Uh, 
as you can see, um, also the kernel CI uh, labs, uh, the tests in Lava could be sent to KCIDB. So this is a shared uh, dashboard between the different labs, even Lava labs. So in here, I'm showing an example uh, of test results from the kernel CI uh, Lava labs. In here, I'm showing an example for uh, Red Hat uh, labs, which are not uh, Lava labs. OK, so quick recap. Uh, well, this project uh, aims really to get uh, everyone together to have the, uh, our maximum efforts to test the Linux kernel. Um, we do provide uh, kernel CI backend, KCIDB tool, and it's all to get uh, everyone together and uh, get a better quality of uh, the Linux kernel. Well, today uh, my talk was about uh, how to test uh, with kernel CI and explaining a little bit more how to join kernel CI even if you are not a Lava user. How to get involved in our project? We have here uh, this list of blog, Twitter, mailing list, uh, ERC, kernel CI, uh, Freenode. We have weekly technical calls and we, you can reach us also in LinkedIn. Okay, so thanks for joining and now we move to questions.